hello friend in the last video we discussed the uh, different types of property that we need to check for any material selection like mechanical properties chemical property thermal property and the electrical property so in this video we will discuss the mechanical properties of material in detail okay so we will cover the number of properties here okay so let's start the video first one is the strength uh, so the strength of material uh, is the maximum stress that it can be handled before it fails okay before it fail of the component or the part how much stresses it can handle is nothing but the stress uh, strength of the component okay for example you can take the steel is a strong material that can withstand the high stresses and it is used in the building construction toughness so toughness is the ability of material to absorb energy without breaking okay so a material that is uh, tough that can absorb the lot of energy before the breaking okay and you can take the example plastics are tough material that can absorb the lot of energy and are used in the automotive part okay if you see now nowadays the car bump, uh, car bumper is made up of the plastic material because that material can absorb the maximum energy maximum energy uh, during the impact loading so whenever uh, our component under the impact loading at that time toughness is very important uh, properties okay property of material okay next one we have hardness so hardness is the ability of material to resist indentation or scratching okay so hardness is nothing but the ability of material it resists the uh, resist the scratching okay so the hard material is difficult to scratch or deform okay uh, if you take the example of the diamond okay so the diamond is the hardest material uh, and it is used in the cutting tool okay ductility so the ductility is nothing but the ability of material to deform under uh, tensile stress without breaking okay so without breaking it will deform okay uh, under the tensile strain it will deform but it will not break okay so ductile material can be stretched into a wire okay and you can take example here copper is the ductile material that is used in the electrical wire so next one is a brittleness so brittleness is the opposite of ductility so the brittleness material will break when subjected to the stress okay ductile material uh, when it is subjected to tensile load it will uh, it will deform but uh, it will not break okay but in a brittle brittleness the uh, brittle material will break when subjected to the stress uh, so it will not deform okay directly it will suddenly it will break you can take the example of glass okay glass is a brittle material that break easily okay next one is the elasticity so the elasticity is the ability of material to return to its original shape after uh, being deformed okay when we are subjected to the load it will deform okay and once you release the force it will uh, regain its original shape okay so the material that is highly elastic can deform and return to its original shape without damage okay so a rubber uh, is the best example for elasticity so rubber is a highly elastic uh, material that is used in the tires next one is the plasticity so uh, in the plasticity uh, after removing the force it will not regain its original shape so in the elasticity we seen that uh, once we release the force it will regain its original shape like rubber uh, but in plasticity uh, it will it will not regain its shape okay it will deform it will change the shape okay and it will not go goes to the original uh, shape okay so you can take the example of clay okay clay is a highly plastic material that can be shaped into various form so the plastic plasticity is very important for the sheet metal component so whenever we are, uh, we are applying the force uh, so that uh, because of the plasticity it will not uh, regain its original shape okay so next one we have the fatigue so fatigue is the ability of material to resist the repeated loading and unloading cycle without 
failure okay so the material it resistance to the fatigue can withstand the repetitive stresses without breaking aircraft structure are designed to withstand the fatigue loading okay next very important property is creep okay creep is the gradual deformation of material under the constant stress over a time okay so the material that is a resistance to creep can maintain its shape under the constant stress okay and you can take the example of a high temperature alloy used in the uh, gas turbines are designed to resist the creep because the creep is a uh, gradual deformation of material under the constant stress over the time so suddenly it will not break okay some gradual deformation of material will happen here under the stress over the time okay by understanding this uh, mechanical property uh, because this property can help you uh, to select the best material for your application so friend uh, thank you for watching if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon thank you for watching See you in the next video.